G'day guys, welcome to Yeah My Beauty. My name is Tanya and this is my partner Daniel and today we are going to do the new Makeup Nonsense Bingo which was created by the lovely Emily Hanhan and Teresa is Dead. Now we're just mere puppets in this uh, video and basically if you're new to my channel and you have no fucking idea what we're going to be doing, we're going to be talking about the latest makeup releases or should I say the latest makeup releases a week ago because we've been really fucking lazy. Um, and uh, we're going to put them through a number generator so we've got 40 makeup releases from a week ago that we are going to put through a number generator and uh, we're going to try and mark them off on a little bingo card which I'll put up on the screen right here for you guys to see. And um, normally what we would do is we would uh, drink when we get to stamp on our bingo card but since we've been stuffed up <laughs> locked in isolation for quite some time now um, we don't feel like waiting to have a drink, so we're going to drink through this entire fucking video and maybe get past it. Yeah, what is it, six weeks or something? Yeah, something with, like that. With uh, five, five kids, kids, two teenagers, a three-year-old. <laughs> and, I can't uh, describe how much fun it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, mm. oh, yeah, and the reason why it's late is because we've also had to do... Um, online schooling for <laughs> the children as well, so that's been a fucking hoot. Um, so basically, look, this is just a little bit of, um, well, makeup nonsense and drinking, you know, just let our hair down and uh, we hope that you enjoy our video and um, and you come back and uh, watch us again. So. In my case, I don't know a bloody thing and I'm just drinking for the sake of it, so. Yeah. Well, the bonus is, is that I like makeup and I do know the latest releases and Dan might not know a lot about makeup, but he, uh, he knows a lot about what looks good on me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, um, yeah, so let's let's start this. So wow. the uh, first number that we have pulled is number nine, which is the Too Faced Melted Chocolate Matte Liquid Eyeshadow. And um, <sighs> yeah, <laughs> these look interesting uh, to me. Age, it's fun. These look very interesting to me. I um, I don't normally like liquid eyeshadow because I have really wrinkly eyes, I guess. <laughs> I have really crepey eyes and it tends to um, set in all of those lines and get uh, get crunchy, but um, if these set down matte and they don't uh, build up in the lines, I think this could be something interesting because it looks like from some of these photos that it almost blends seamlessly. Mm. So, Well, aside from you know, the three sort of skin, almost skin tone, you know, the whitish skin tone colours, mm -hmm. they all seem like browns and a few blues. You know, there's, yeah, well, that's, yeah. yeah, I mean... They're, they are all neutral tones, so I mean they are sort of pretty much all skin colour with a, a few, you know, variants. Um, yeah, yeah they, they are really safe colours. I mean, I guess this would be sort of like a one undone if you're going to work. There's nothing like super exciting about these shades, but I do like the simplicity of it. Yeah, there's no pinks or purples or anything. No. Yeah, so I mean, you, this chocolate wine colour has got like a, a faint hint of... Um, like a lilac -y purple, but yeah. other than that, you know, you've got your sort of like slightly orange colour and yeah. a little bit of a grey colour with a tiramisu. So anyway, I think these are interesting, but um, I would probably like to watch some people use them before I, you know, but it's an interesting release, but it's uh, it's not on our bingo card, so we're going to move on. We're and, drink um, anyway. and we're going to have a drink anyway, so. Oh, this is going to be a headache. All right. Mm. I am drinking once again Maduri and Coke because I'm a basic bitch and I don't like to switch up my um, alcoholic beverages that much. So. And I'm drinking from the world's <laughs> yeah, largest whiskey and Coke glass. Yeah. <laughs> Pot. The kids, the, kids, <laughs> yeah, the kids have had a habit of breaking my glasses. So. Yeah. We'll have to get some more. I've actually seen bigger ones than those. Like They're like massive. Oh, so you're encouraging my alcoholism. <laughs> yeah. Well, if we're going to be doing more of these videos, we may as well. <laughs> so let's move on to the next number. The next number generated is number 28, which is the 4th Ray Beauty Do It Hydrating Hyaluronic Mist. So basically you spritz this on your face and um, either before or after makeup. If you put it on after makeup, if you've used powders and stuff like that, mm -hmm. it can help reduce the look of the powdery effect and okay. bring dewiness to your skin. But mm -hmm. since this one is a hyaluronic mist, um, I would probably suggest that this one would be better to be used under makeup because okay. um, hyaluronic acid is one of these things that um, can be good for you, can be bad for you. So if you put it down first and then you put a moisturiser on, yeah. hyaluronic acid has a tendency to pull moisture into the skin. Mm -hmm. So if um, you put it down first and then you put a moisturiser on, it'll pull the moisturiser into the skin. 
But if you put it on as a last step, yeah. it's going to pull all the moisture out, <laughs> out of your skin. So that's a lot of the reason why okay. some of these don't work. So I think this is good um, if you're going to use it the right way. And I'm actually really interested in this, especially okay. since it's fourth rate beauty. It's um, in the affordable range. Yep. But it's a pretty basic product, but, and uh, it's not on our board. But yeah, yeah. it's basically essentially just a, it's a face spray. Yeah. It doesn't right. it doesn't um main, like it doesn't let your makeup uh, last longer on your face. It's just like a hydrating mist. Mm. Do you think it's more gimmicky because of the hyaluronic acid, or is it? Uh, you think it actually you know, do its job? I think that if it's got the right amount of hyaluronic acid in it, it would do its job. Okay. Um, but I think that because a lot of people get confused on what to use these sprays for, and I think they'll use it to um, remove that powder effect, I think it's actually going to be worse for people if they use it the wrong way. Yeah. So okay. I like it, and I think if it's used the right way, um, it'll be fine. But okay. I think, yeah, some people, if they don't use it right, then... Sweet. It's not on our board though, so but I am interested in that. I'd love to try this. But um oh. yeah, I'll write that down here. Yeah. yeah. Alright, let's pull the next number and the next number generated is number thirty-four, which is the Sorry, you forgot the most important thing. Drinking? <laughs> well okay. I won't forget. Mm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> As I said, the next number generated is number 34, which is the Fresh Hydrating Lip Balm in the flavours Blood Orange, Watermelon and Lime Mint. Okay. So, um, they're hydrating lip balms um, mm. in flavours and, yeah, I mean, I think these look nice, but I don't like watermelon scent or flavours in my skincare mm. or my makeup yeah. and... Um, I don't know, the lime mint, I, no, I feel like fresh, but mm, it's the same I, with the watermelon within the chewing gum, you get chewing gum that's watermelon flavour, I just don't like it. Yeah, so. no, I'm the same, and I think that I would have liked it if it was like lime or mint, but mm. I don't think, I don't, I'm not sure about the lime and mint together, and as for the blood orange, I don't like orange, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, blood orange could be different, though I don't know, I've actually never tasted a blood mm. orange myself, okay. um, but I think these are cute, but I just... If they had another flavour, I might have considered getting one, but I don't know. I mean, I think the only one that I would even consider trying um, would be the blood orange, only because I've never tasted blood orange yeah. before. So, But I would assume that it would taste very similar to an orange. Yeah, don't know. Don't know. Might, might be more smell-based than, well, I suppose. I don't know. If it's, <laughs> if, if, it's a, if it's a lip balm and it's just smell and it's not taste, I'm not interested. So, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but that's just me personally. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's not on our board. It's interesting, but it's not on our board. So, mm -hmm. going to have a drink anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's good. I mean, could you imagine if you could only smell your alcohol and not actually taste it? <laughs> it's the same fucking thing. Yeah. Moving on to the next number generator, which is number 32, which is the Morphe 20A... 24A Artist Pass Collection. Okay. Um, you should be pretty aware by now that most of the time Morphe bring out these big massive palettes and they're usually bright, bold, or have a shitload of the same colour in them, but this is a whole collection. So we okay. have um, we have an eyeshadow palette, we have some lip stuff, some more brushes, and I think that might be a setting spray. I don't know, but... I'm looking at the all the swatches here and I really don't like this star <laughs> glitter thing. Yeah. I don't know. This is not for me personally. Like, I, um, I wouldn't use this palette very often. I might pull it out when I wanted to pop a colour every now and then. But for me, this is just like whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I look at the blue and yellow beside each other and I just think the Simpsons straight away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Marge. Yeah, the blue hair and the yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, I don't like this, and I would, I wouldn't purchase this if I was going to purchase a palette from Morphe. It definitely wouldn't be this one. This one just, it's just too much glitter, and mm, yeah, nah, not for me. But it is on our bingo card, right. and it well, because it's an oversized Morphe palette. Yep. So yeah. Yay! Right. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Moving on to the next number, which is number 15, which is the Huda Beauty Diamond Hydrating Lip Balm. Mm -hmm. Looks very interesting. It does. Looks, looks sandy. 
Yeah. Or yeah. sandpapery. Yeah, that's right. Mm. And it kind of looked like frosty sandpaper. I mean, I get what they're trying to do there, but that's not that's not enticing for me. No. I just this. Mm, so that looks gimmicky to me. Yeah. And I'm not even really excited about the shades. There's, um, there's different appealing, and then there's just different, different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is just different, different. <laughs> yeah. Um. This one's not on our board, and I'm definitely not interested in it. I mean, I. I get the appeal with diamond sort of like highlighters and stuff like that, but even at the swatches, I mean, it's called a it's called a diamond what a diamond hydrating lip balm. It doesn't, I mean, uh, it, it as far as I'm concerned, if it's like diamond, then it should be shiny, right? Or sparkly, or are they the, going to diamond for the shape of the tip, or are they going for the actual no. reflective? Yeah, I don't know. Pieces and pieces all through it. But if I look at the um, the lip swatches, it doesn't look. Super reflective. Or, no, it, mm. does, it doesn't match what the what the product looks like. Mm. So. so, yeah, I'm definitely not interested in this. I think this one is is for me a little bit too gimmicky. It's just, mm. no, I don't know. I just it, it looks like it's got fuzzies <laughs> all over, and it's just not my thing. So yeah, no, I'll, I'll put pass. a Lamington on your lips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. But uh, this one's not on our board, so mm, but let's drink. Mm. Yeah. All right, the next number generated is the Solar Look Charmed palette. I loved Charmed when I was growing up, and but then you grew up. Well, <laughs> I, I I love that photograph of the Charmed girls, and yeah. I would still watch Charmed. But I look at this palette and I go, it could have been done so much better, in my opinion. It's like. The shape of the palette is crap. I know the reason for the shape of the palette is to be that stupid symbol. Mm -hmm. um, but like the colours, I don't know. This just looks like it was rushed and cheap. And the best thing about the palette, in my opinion, is the imagery. I, um, I mean, look, I, I do like a couple of colours in the palette, but not enough for me to run out. I mean, I, I love that purple. Um, I love the blue, which I would never use because I got blue eyes and I got this thing about blue and blue. Um, and I like the green, but other than that, it's, I don't know. It kind of looks. It kind of reminds me of the pizza palette by Glamlight. Um, we looked at that one a little while ago. Yeah, I mean, if yeah, you, that's right. Yeah. yeah, if you remove the picture of the girls, it, it sort of looks like something that Glamlight would bring out, or mm. BH Cosmetics, or something like that. So. I don't know, it's just not my thing. I, I'm disappointed in it because they have brought out, well, not this company itself, but there has been a couple of releases of witchcraft style um, mm. uh, makeup releases and they've done a really good job. I mean, there's been, um, I think it's um, Manny MUA's brand. Yeah, what's it called? I can't remember his brand. I'm going to leave it on the screen, but he brought out a spell book palette and mm. that looked fantastic. And then there was another palette, I can't remember. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but it was it was good too. But I mean, it's also charm. I mean, it's a bit of a niche to the market, isn't it? It hasn't been on TV for a, quite a few years, I don't think. I actually yeah. still think that they air the episodes on free to wear TV. Oh, like, reruns, yeah. But yeah, I mean, as no. far as the original screenings, I, th I think it's been quite a few years since. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Been on. yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. I think the last um, episode made possibly could have been a decade ago. I'd, that'd be my guess. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, it's not on our board and uh, it's not on my wish list, so whatever. <laughs> Disappointing though. If it was made better, I may have actually bought it just because it was charmed. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, could you imagine if they brought out like a True Blood, True Blood's oh, another vampire yeah. style one, if they brought out a True Blood palette, but they did it fantastic, I would be all over that shit. I mean, how much they could actually do with that. Well, even I'd be conflicted if they brought out something like a Dexter one. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, me too. Yeah. Any yeah. sort of horror-themed um, makeup that is done from a good brand and, like, mm. the packaging is fantastic and... Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah, all over. Anyway, moving on. We can't do anything with this one. It's not on our list. But we're going to move on to the next one, which is number eight, which is the NARS Laguna Collection. So this looks... Pretty upper class. Yeah, it looks professional. Yeah, yeah. Um, I. It's got beautiful packaging. Um, it almost looks too expensive for me. Mm, like, yeah. don't get me wrong, I love expensive makeup, but like, I'm looking at it and I'm like, I do. I'm not sure if I have a need for these products personally myself. Mm. Um, especially, I think these are eyeshadows. I think they're like glittery eyeshadows, and I'm not all about that life. They're not 
really displaying what they've got. It's more displaying the packaging and a little bit of mm. issue. It's really hard to sort of see from that picture at least, you know, what they're really selling. Yeah, that's right. But I think it's beautiful. Um, it's just not jumping out at me. It's not saying, buy me. Um, beautiful packaging though, but I mean, once you finish with the product, mm. you're going you're gonna to do with the packaging, you're going to throw it out, aren't you? Yeah. yeah? Um, but yeah, no. But this one is on our list. Um, it's pretty embossing, but basic product, realistically. So. Right. Well, drink time. Ooh. Oh, this is going to get bad. <laughs> I was actually going to start drinking before this episode last time. Yeah. Um, because I would, it would barely sort of touch the sides by the time that we would finish our episodes. But now that we're drinking every every one, I might start fumbling my words by the end of it. So especially if it's a long one, I mean, we've got potentially forty products to get through potentially um, before we get bigger. So mm, mm. so let's move on. The next number that we've drawn out is. Well, talking about horror products, number 27, the Lunatic Cosmetics Dis Descendant Palette. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, a look bat. at that fucking packaging. A bat. That is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, the oh, mirror. That's a bit controversial this time of year, isn't it? Mm. What? Well, with a bit of the... Uh... Oh, well, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I won't go there. <laughs> uh, honestly, we like I said, we are a little bit behind the eight ball. We should have had this video out over a week ago. And they sneak peeked the design of this before all of that, um, yeah. you know, self-isolation <laughs> stuff. We're not going to say the name of it. We don't want our video to be booted off YouTube. Thank no. you very much. But so I don't I don't think this has got anything to do with that. But I love the packaging. Yeah, I, I really like the shape and even mm. the uh, the writing through it. You know, that's yeah, I think that's worse. fantastic. It reminds me of um, one of those movies that we watched where um, they went into the caves and those creepy um, people tried to kill them. Ah. Uh, Yep. They'd evolved over years. I'll think of it in a minute. Yeah. Oh, it's called Descendant, and it's actually called The Descent, I believe. <laughs> there you go, there you go. So that, that gives me those vibes. I hate the bat mirror. I think that, that that was a little bit unnecessary. I mean, I think that it would have been nicer if that entire coffin lid was a mirror. Mm. Um, and as for the basic shades... I don't mind it because obviously it's a neutral palette, mm. but I think that some of these shades are a little bit close together that they could have, they could have, I don't know, they could have done something else. Yeah. They could have put like a mauvey brown, more of a mauvey brown in there. I, I don't think they needed these three shades of nearly grey. So yeah. Um, yeah, they're just very, very close. And I think they, I think the product inside the package could have been a little bit better. Yeah. yeah. I mean, look at the colours on the package. Yeah. Some of those colours would have been absolutely phenomenal inside. When I look at the, the outside packaging, I go, okay, I know what I'm going to get inside. <laughs> I'm going to get this, like, rich brown. I'm going to get sort of this reddish sort of oak-looking colour, you know. Um, yeah. I, nearly. <laughs> nearly. Nearly, nearly, nearly. I, I love the coffin, though. Um, I, it would be a fantastic display piece, but what's the point yeah. of displaying makeup, you know? It's not, it's not my Chucky dolls, you know? It's not yeah. got a very long shelf life uh, makeup, so... But, um, yeah, what do you reckon? Yeah, I agree. If they had have, um, followed the contour of the shape and made the coffin shape mirror, um, yeah... I can see where they're going. You can see it starts off one side and it goes around. It's a bit dark, a sort of light. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I suppose it would serve a purpose, but mm. obviously no, no particular market. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I just don't like it when the packaging shows a lot of these colours and then it just doesn't translate to inside the palette. Mm. You know, if you're going to yeah. have like this fancy, colourful packaging, at least try and sort of bring, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, that's right. I so. go, uh, rather than, uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm sure I could use this palette. Um, I'm not sure how much I would use those greys, but uh, I would, yeah, but it's just, I don't know, it's just not drawing me enough to want to buy it. However, it is on our bingo list under basic as AF neutral palette. So, All fantastic. Right. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Um, the next number that we uh, have drawn is number 11, which is the Lancome Mademoiselle Lip Balm. Mademoiselle? Mm -hmm. So it's another lip balm. There's lots of lip balms in this one. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. 
The packaging looks nice, but it's like, I think the packaging is overdone for a lip balm. I don't know, I just, this is something about it I don't like and I can't put my finger on it. I mean, the is that, is that the blue? Is that the last colour there? That's yeah, it's like an icy. It, it almost comes out white. You know, yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't know how that would translate on the lips, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, it would be interesting. I'm, that's probably the only one that I find interesting. I don't know. I just. Uh. It's a lip balm, and it's in very fancy packaging, and I wonder if it's going to be expensive because of that. I mean, I don't know. It just. I, this doesn't excite me for some reason, and I'm not sure why. It's also a lot more. Um... Aside from the blue slash white, um, on the lighter skin, it's the most effective. I mean, mm. Obviously, you can get that with a lot of things, I think. But mm. uh, yeah, uh, being the sort of the coppery and browny and red sort of tones, it's yeah, it's a lot more standing out on the, on the lighter skin. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, I, I'm just not excited about this one. So mm. and um, she's not on our uh, board. So yeah. we are going to move on yeah. to the mm -hmm. next number is number 40 which is the Jua Cosmetics plush plush <laughs> blush palettes plush blush palettes blush. yeah oh yeah it's on here wrong so hmm. Damn, all right the generators are messing things up <laughs> <laughs> i actually own one of these i don't own um these new releases out but I do own a, a duo compact from this brand and they are absolutely fantastic like it is the best blush that I have ever Jeez. tried they really do change the tone don't they? It's... yeah yeah um, one of them I think hang on one this one is a blush and this one is a uh, bronzer contour or something yeah. like that so I look um, I if you like these shades then I definitely recommend the formula I don't want any more I've got enough blushes now um, but I think these cl this clear lip oil, I think it is, yeah. is very interesting. It looks very hydrating. So, um, mm. yeah, I think it's nice. And if you've never tried um, this brand before, you should definitely give it a go. It is worth the money. Um, the only thing that I will say, which I'm very disappointed about, the, the product itself is fantastic quality, um, the formula. But the packaging... The top of the packaging on mine has actually lifted, like the glue mm. um, for the top packaging is lifting away from the actual container that it's packaged in, okay. which has pissed me off a little bit because <laughs> they're they're not the cheapest um, items. Yeah. So, hmm. but yeah, fantastic product though, cool. but it's not on our board. Right. Yeah, regardless. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. All right. So the next number generated is the Melt Cosmetics Rust Collection. So this is a um, eyeshadow uh, eyeshadow that, palette. Is that how it looks in the packaging, or is that advertising? That's the packaging there. These are the color of the shades. So, okay. Yeah. Because it looks really good. Yeah. Like yeah. Up to above it. Yeah. Yeah. So, and these are pretty much what the colours look like. So it's um, definitely a neutral with like a pop of yellow. I think mm. that it's quite uh, nice looking. Like I, I really like this because it's not something that I actually have. And I've, I, I do want to get a hold of like a neutral palette um, just to have a bit of a play around. Mm. Uh, but, and they don't normally do this, but um, they've actually brought out a new palette. Like this is new. This yeah. is relatively new. But they've yeah. brought out a new one called... 420 okay and i think i think it's up my alley just a little bit more mm. but this is fantastic this is on my wish list already i do want this mm. i'm a little bit um concerned though because melt have had a few issues with some of their um f their eyeshadow formulas where they've just sort of expanded and people have been really creeped out by their eyeshadow palettes expanding okay. um i don't know what's up with that that's the only reason why i haven't pulled the trigger on melt eyeshadow mm. formulas before but i'd love to get this and also that new one but <laughs> i wouldn't need both of them so i've got to kind of figure out which one i want to try first so but i think this is fantastic it also comes with this creamy um uh, eyeliner gel and these two lipsticks okay. i'm not interested in that crap but um, I'm not very good at winged liner, guys, so, you know, it's not on my radar. And those those um, shades of lipstick would look disgusting on me. So, 
Hmm. Um, but I think it's interesting. The maculates disappear. <laughs> <laughs> um, but this eyeshadow palette that they've brought out is inspired by shades that they've already got. Yeah. Um, they came out with this, uh, the, a lot of their shades, not all of them, some of these shades are new, mm -hmm. but they had this weird magnetic round stackable okay. kind of thing. Like yeah. It would be like a disc like that big and it would be one shade and then a magnet disc on top of that and another mm. shade. And I hated that yeah. and I think a lot of other people hated that too. So I think that's why they've actually done this and added more in there. So realistically, yeah. a lot of these shades you can already get if you already have the um, the magnetic yeah. disc there's, palette. There's 10 shades there. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not sure which ones are the new shades because I didn't pay much attention attention <laughs> because I didn't like the uh, yeah. magnetic one. So this is pretty much same shit, different packaging, which is on our bingo card. So yeah. Wow, nice. <laughs> All right, the next number generated on our list is number one, which is the Mac times Selena Larina collection. Selena Lorena. I'm just not a tongue twister, is it? No. Selena, <laughs> Selena Lorena. Interesting. Um, yeah. Okay. I think I think if I recall correctly, um, Selena, this chick's already done a collab with makeup in the past. I think I'm pretty sure. Um, she's not really a makeup artist though. Like she's not known for her makeup. I think she is. A... Do you know what? I don't know. <laughs> but I don't I don't recall her having anything to do with sort of like the makeup community, but I do think this is her second round with Mac. Um, I don't know, nothing really excites me about this. I don't know her. Um, I guess if I knew her, I'd probably be a little bit more excited about it. Maybe I'd want to support her, but um, yeah, nothing really, yeah, it's, it's fancy, it's bling bling, but it's just, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, but yeah. Yeah. Mm. And like I said, I don't think that um, Selena is known for her makeup, so um, we're going to stamp this on our bingo card for a collab not known for their makeup. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on. The next number generated is number 16, which is the Too Faced Matte Liquid Lipstick Range Expansion. Jeez. So, um, so, there's just one or two there. <laughs> which is funny because this is uh, this is all of them that they have now. I'm going to put it up on the screen for you guys. I actually recently just went out for the first time ever purchased one of their liquid lipsticks in the shade, um, what was it? One minute, let me look at the list. Cool Girl. So I have Cool Girl and I absolutely love it, but you know what, I'm pissed off because they brought out these, or they uh, mentioned that they were bringing out these new shades the week after I made my first purchase. I've been sitting on the idea of buying one of these older shades for about a year and a half now, and I didn't want to pull the trigger because it's like 30, I think it was 32 Australian dollars to buy. And the website, the only website that I could buy it from, if you spent $35, <laughs> you'd get free postage. But yeah. if you didn't, then, you know, you, you would have to pay an extra $15 postage or something. And if I had to go and buy something else, then it, I'd be spending even more. But this uh, one particular day, I got the um, uh, free free postage. Yeah. Like they decided to do free postage, and I'm like, yes, I'm going to get me one. <laughs> and then they brought out all these other shades, and I really want to get the shade um, Into You, which is this one here, and Suck It. There's so many that I want to get. All, all these names remind me. You get on Facebook, and you see these things where you go, you, you, the first name starts with, D or something, and you go blah blah blah. Then the second name starts with, yeah, you know, you come on, uh, suck it, nasty girl, hot stuff, you know, <laughs> or, or bend and snap, uh, lady balls, you know. And, <laughs> uh, well, Two Face, Two Face is strange. One release they'll bring out, and it'll be really dirty sounding. You know, mm -hmm. their mascara is called Better Than Sex, mm -hmm. and then the next release they'll they'll come out with, it'll be more like towards children, like it'll be cutesy and you know mm -hmm. tutti fruity and all sorts of stuff. So they can't quite figure out which audience they're going for. <laughs> if they're going for the teenagers, or they're going for the like a little bit older, um, like young adults, you know, older adults. So they can't quite yeah figure out which direction <laughs> they're going in. So. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't want them all actually. Um, or at least, at, at least half of these shades I. <laughs> but they're too they're too expensive. So I might buy one or two more in the future. Um, but this isn't on our list. So, mm. 
unfortunately, but I love this. I love that they've expanded on their range, and it's a fantastic formula. I absolutely love it. Like, my favorite formulas have got to be this one and um, Jeffree Star's Velour Lipstick. I think that these two are very similar, except the Too Faced one, in my personal opinion, is more comfortable. It mm. feels less drying than the Jeffree Star one, but the Jeffree Star one, I feel like, lasts just that tiny bit longer than the Too Faced one, so... Anyway, there's that. Nice. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. Alright. The next number generated is number 35, which is the Give Me Glow Cosmetics Summer Collection Highlighters. Woo! They are bright. Those fake nails done right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 they started halfway down the fingernail. <laughs> yeah, um, they have. She's obviously growing them out. But we're not talking about the fingernails. Well, it's part of the marketing. So. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think these are just a photo of somebody who's swatched them. So I don't ah, think gotcha. these are particularly the marketing photos. These are very bright. Um, uh, two of these shades I definitely couldn't get away with wearing. Like it would just be like this streak on mm. my face. I, I like them, but I, I don't know. It's just they're really shiny, but to me they're more like a foiled eyeshadow. Oh, they're just a little bit too extreme for me. So mm, yeah. absolutely gorgeous, though. I could see my mother wearing that back in the eighties or even the nineties. Yeah, mm. big time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they're beautiful, but I am not out in a rush to go and get them. I've, mm. I've got quite a lot of highlighters that I really enjoy, and I just think these are just a little bit too much for me. Mm. You know? Need something just a little bit tamer. So. Mm. Anyway, that's not on our list, so we are going to move on, try not mm -hmm. to gas bag too much. <sighs> well, where are we going to go, huh? <laughs> yes. So, the next number generated is the Too Faced Tutti Frutti Collection New Editions. So here we go, the Too Faced I was talking to you about yeah. before it was highly sexual. Now we've got Tutti Frutti um, extras, so yeah. it's, uh, uh, what do you call it, um, um, a collection in their brand. So. Yeah, um, this doesn't excite me very mm. much. Um, it's it's very young-ish. Uh, I don't know. I love purples. I the only shade I like in that is that purple, obviously. Um, I don't know. Maybe that one too. But <laughs> yeah, I don't know. This no, is... Not one of them really jumps out. No. Mm. It's like whatever for me. Um, and the entire Tutti Frutti line, in my personal opinion, is whatever. I do like the idea that it is a smaller compact palette, but none of the Tutti Frutti line jumps out at me. I don't want to buy any of it, and, um, and that's why I want to put this down on our board as a product that just won't die. Uh, <laughs> so a release a product that just won't die, because... <laughs> so, there we go. which is Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum. Is that okay. So it's a serum, makeup serum. So made... Uh, is that a little squeezable dropper type thing in the top? Yeah, usually a serum is something that you put on as a first step in skincare. So yeah. um, I'm confused that it actually says makeup in, in it. So maybe this is like a makeup prepping serum where it um, hydrates the skin or something, but Okay. Um, yeah, it's, I have actually not heard of this, so I'm interested in actually doing a little bit more research and seeing what this is all about, because I love serums, don't get me wrong, I love me a serum. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, you yeah, know, I've, I've not heard of this, so... <laughs> have a drink. <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty. Uh, I just don't know whether it's effective or whether it's just a gimmick thing, so, mm. yeah. i would be interested to look into it more and, um, yeah. Yeah, sweet. It's not on our board. Let's move on. The next thing that we are going to talk about is the Essence Hemp range. Okay, so products are, a lot of brands now are coming out with their own hemp range and mm. um, I don't know whether or not hemp in skincare or makeup has any benefits? Um, I don't know. I, uh, I know that it does when it's smoked and when it's <laughs> eaten. Well, it's got, got a lot of qualities that you know, uh, can be used for. So, you know, it's making a big comeback, you know. I mean, obviously, the recreational type thing and under the guise of medical, you know, is, mm. is a big one, but, uh, you know, 
Yeah, might as well jump on the on the bandwagon. Yeah. yeah, I just don't see a point if it doesn't do anything. You know, yeah. like um, it, for example, if it's in skincare, if it's not going to actually benefit my skin by being in there, I don't want it in there. Yeah. Uh, talking about a person who breaks out quite easily. If it's not going to do anything for the longevity or the appearance of my makeup, then I don't want that ingredient in there. I don't want to be putting extra things on my face um, that have no reason to be there. Mm -hmm. It's just for me, it's a possible extra irritant or, eh, I don't know, or an extra cost that doesn't need to be. I mean, essence is pretty cheap anyway, but I just don't like ingredients in something for the hell of it if it's not going to do something, yeah. so something beneficial. So, um, But it is on our card. It is Sweet. the devil's lettuce. So devil's lettuce. The devil's lettuce. <laughs> well, they, yeah. Not a word for pot, basically. Mm. <laughs> All right, the next number we have pulled is number two, which is Revolution Skincare. And that's a lot of skincare to pull out all at once. So we have a, what do we have? We have a brightening cream, a moisturizing cream, a toning cream, a hydrating cream, and a calming cream. Revolution Beauty is quite a cheap brand. It's mainly a makeup brand and not a makeup brand that I particularly enjoy. Um, but they are doing skincare and I don't know, I'm... I'm not excited. I don't want really to try their skincare because I I'm not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Yeah. I don't like their makeup, and I think that um, you know a lot of their makeup releases to me feel really rushed, not really thought out, and I I'm cautious when I look at these to think that have they rushed these? Are, is there anything really that great about these um, except for obviously the color of the product? I don't know. I just—it's hard for me to trust a brand that pumps out so much. Mm. Yeah. They've, they've, they've done their homework, and you know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, makeup's one thing. It's—it's it's just like color and it wipes off everything like that. But skincare, and uh, you know, that's going to be penetrating the deep layers of the skin that could break me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. I think it's interesting, um, but it's—I'm just not—I'm not interested in even trying this um, without watching a ton. Yeah. Of reviews, so mm. it just looks like you, you you go to a uh, a generic shop and they'd have a have all five of them sitting there. That's yeah. right, a two dollar shop, a reject shop, one of those little um yeah. you know cheap super variety stores. Mm. Yeah, 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 that's right. It's not on our board, so let's move on. The next thing on our board is uh, well, the next number is number thirteen, which is the T Natasha Denona mini retro palette so it is a pink and silverish kind of palette and um i guess if you're into that sort of pinkish silverish sort of retro kind of thing then it looks okay but that's not my thing yeah. i don't know it's quite basic but it's not not offensive or it's not uh, it kind of gives me like um futuristic robotic girl <laughs> vibes you know okay. like something like that like you would see some cutesy pixie cropped hair chick wearing <laughs> silver and pink and yeah i don't know rolling on her skates i don't know it's strange because the palette doesn't actually look like that but the swatches mm. do so mm -hmm. mm. i think she's cute but it's just not for me yeah. and um it's not on the palette so we're going to quickly move through because we have got a ton of products to possibly talk about mm -hmm. so the next number that we are pulling is number 17 and these are the Becca Liquid Highlighters. So this is a liquid form of a highlighter. Okay. And um, yeah, there we go. Quite a few different shades there. And uh, liquid products like this work best for like skin types like mine, look like they're dry, but um, I'm really, I go overboard when it comes with liquid products. So um, I don't know, I do have a liquid highlighter from another brand. I can't even remember which brand it is okay. now. And I don't use it. <laughs> I just don't wow. use it. So I think this is pretty. I think it's cool. I think there's definitely a market for it. Um, but it's not for me. I just don't think I'd ever use it. So mm. I think yeah. it's just, for me, I think it's just a little bit too hard to control. I just like my powder products with highlighters. So yep. anyway, not on the board. Pretty. Yep. But uh, let's move on to number 30, which is the Good Molecules. Pineapple exfoliating powder. Oh wow, you managed to say all that. Mm. <laughs> I know that Good Molecules is um, an affordable brand mm -hmm. and I've heard a lot of good things about it, 
but I don't know what an exfoliating powder is. I would assume you rub it on your face and it exfoliates. I don't know how that would work, but... Um... Yeah, well, you think that if they're going to advertise something that's not well known, like, you know, it's a powder, how do you use it? You know, you think they'd incorporate that into the advertising. I'm sure yeah. they probably did somewhere. This is just a picture that I pulled. Yeah. But um, yeah, I I don't it, I don't exfoliate um, my face with like stuff like a <laughs> stuff. Um, <laughs> I don't use sort of like a physical exfoliator, so like yeah. rough creams and stuff like that. Yeah. I use a chemical exfoliator, like a toner, because um, that's just what my skin can tolerate. So um, I'm assuming this is good for someone, and it smells like pineapple. So, um, but I do know that, like I said, a lot of people do talk about good molecules in the um, fact that they've got a good brand and their products are usually pretty good quality. So um, I do want to try some of their stuff, but not this. So, okay. Not on our board either, guys. So we are going to move along to number 19, which is the Lime Crime Lip Pop Satin Lip Range. It's a very interesting page. Yeah. I hate it. <laughs> I, I don't like any makeup or it's just I don't like anything that you have to click to make it work. Oh, okay. So once you click this bad boy up, she's stuck up in that position. Yeah. Uh, so, so, so if your three year old gets hold of it for even two seconds, click, 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 yeah. All right. Bye bye yeah. lipstick. Um, I don't know. I just, I've, never, I've never had good experience with these click type of um, products and. Mm. I don't like the packaging and I don't like any of the colours and I just think it's like really kiddie looking and mm. yeah. yeah, I don't know, I just yeah, and that disgusting <laughs> lime street is it called? Like don't get me wrong, mm. I like colour, but that looks like looking. it would be disgusting mm -hmm. on anyone's lips. It It looks like an infection. <laughs> <laughs> it does, yeah. Um, and it's not on our board, so boo. No. So, mm. Mm. so let's move on to the next number, which is number 37, 37 which is the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum. Oh, yeah, that's right. You like serums. I do <laughs> like serums, and um, no, oh, it's got rose in it. <laughs> I like serums, but I don't generally like anything that has rose in okay. it because I like roses mm. but i don't like anything that smells like roses other than rose yeah. yeah um shit i still want to try it though um yeah it looks interesting even if you don't try it just to smell it to see how dominant it is yeah yeah mm. um i do have a rose scented um serum at the moment but this is an oil infused serum something different um i don't know it's, I, i'm interested in it mm. and um yeah I just, yeah. it depends on how much that rose smell is in there. Yeah. I wish it was anything other than rose, so. Hmm. But, um, although I think it's interesting, it's not on our board. And so. Oh, we show a drink. Mm. Oh, God, this is getting bad. <laughs> All right. Mm. Let's move on. And I had a head start. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oops. The next number generated is number 39, which is the. Tatcha Water Cream Limited Edition Packaging. So Tatcha have brought out a water cream. Everybody brags about it all over YouTube. Okay. But they brought it out in limited edition packaging. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So um, <laughs> I do want to I do want to try Tatcha products. I do want to try this. Um, but I mean I don't. Um, if it costs any more because of limited edition packaging, then I'm not interested. That's our dishwasher. Huh. Um, let's just wait a minute. Oh, oh, there yeah. we go. Uh, yeah, I mean, I do want to try this, but I don't want to try it because it's limited edition packaging. I won't pay extra money for it. And it is on our board because I personally think that limited edition packaging with a product that they already have is just a cash grab. Yeah. So. Mm. A bit logical there. Yeah, yeah I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. generated is number 18 which is the MAC Powder Kiss Collection. She's just dark. Mm. No, that's black black. Yeah, well they, they I think they are eyeshadows mm. and these are the lipsticks and okay. I don't like them. I like them. 
Yeah, so do I. Um, yeah, I mean, I haven't tried anything from MAC ever. I know, strange, weird, but I'll get there. Um, <laughs> but I really do like liquid lips, and I have heard um, things... I have heard good things about some of their formulas. I'd be interested in trying this. I really do like this purp these purpley shades mm. in the eyeshadow formulas as well. Excuse me. And the, even the, the bottles are like a slightly different shape. You know, they're, they're different, but they're not ridiculous. Yeah. They're and almost like a bullet type shape. That's yeah. right. And they all, like the outer packaging almost kind of looks like it has like that um, powder coating. Mm. Frost, frosted glass, yeah. frosted glass, <laughs> yeah, frost, frosted glass kind of look. I, I actually find this, I wouldn't mind trying one. Frosted grass? Frosted yeah. grass. <laughs> <laughs> I keep sticking it. I need to see the shades. Yeah, um, just, just to wipe it off again. There we go. I need to see swatches. <laughs> um, but I, I might actually pick one of these up. <laughs> How freaking rude, camera. Oh my God, would it pick your face up for goodness sakes? Stop focusing on the freaking moon. There we go. <laughs> so we were just talking about the MAC Powder Kiss Collection uh, before we were rudely cut off by my camera. Yeah. So um, uh, I think, yeah, I definitely want to pick myself up one. So mm -hmm. I just don't know what shade yet. I need to look, see what there is. Um, yeah, so, but she's not on our board, so we are going to keep on going. All right, the next number generated is number six, which is the Milk Melatonin Overnight Serum. Ooh. Wow. Serum and melatonin. Sleepy? <laughs> That's the thing. Um, for those who don't know, melatonin is a, um, a hormone that sort of helps regulate your sleep, right? So when you um, ingest melatonin, it will help regulate your sleep cycle. But melatonin topically, like on your skin, doesn't do that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it does. So uh, if anybody knows what melatonin is, um, but they don't actually research the benefits that it has, if any benefits, um, in skincare or makeup or anything like that, and they just buy it because they think that it's going to help them sleep, yeah. they're, they're going to be fooled. It yeah. doesn't do that. Um, they don't actually believe that melatonin in skincare actually does anything. They, they haven't proven that melatonin in skincare is effective in any way. However, um, they are marketing this by saying that um, it is an anti-aging ingredient in this product. So, well, well, the body produces melatonin naturally anyway, so I don't think it would do any, any harm. I mean, it's not as if it's in huge concentrated... Yeah, so yeah no, good. I mean, it definitely wouldn't give you any harm, but if you think that putting this on your face is going to help you sleep, it's yeah. not the case. It's not going to do that. Mm. Um, like I said, Milk Makeup claimed that this is a anti-aging ingredient, um, and as far as I'm aware, there is no evidence to support that melatonin topically does anything at all. Mm. So, um, in my personal opinion, while I really want to try this, because I, I, I love serums, but what I hate about serums is either having to pull a stupid face while I drop it on my face <laughs> or put it in my hands, get it all over my hands. If I could just roll a stick on my face and then just sort of yeah. tap it in, I think that would be absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Um, so I wouldn't buy this because it's got melatonin in it. I would buy this because it's a stick form um, serum uh, and, I, and I like that. But um, we are going to put it on the bingo card okay. because I'm going to call this a catfish because like I said, Anybody who thinks that they're buying this to help them sleep as well as the benefits as a serum yeah. is being catfished because melatonin on your skin does not help you sleep. <laughs> so, the next number generated is the Innisfree Mentos Powders. So this is a face powder. Mentos? Yes. I know, there's, makeup brands do this. They, they get food themed things and... It sells. So okay. it's a face powder. Generally, people use face powders to um, set down their foundation to also make sure that um, oils don't come through the skin and break up the foundation throughout the day. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't use powders that much because uh, it makes me look like a crusty, dusty demon mm -hmm. um, uh, because of my dry skin, but I will use a little bit of powder to set down under my eyes. Although if it's true to form and they are following the Mentos recipe... You know, you go to the shelves and there'd be 49 of the various other colours and one of the pink. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. seriously, that's that's the only problem with, with Mentos. So, yeah. um, this is too gimmicky, in my opinion. Uh, yeah. I'm definitely not interested in this, and yeah. I don't even know the brand Innisfree, to be honest with you. So, um, mm. Mm. But we are going to put this on our list, and this is going to go under a food themed makeup. Mm. And by the looks of it, we have hit bingo. <laughs> so, Ooh. cheers. Yeah, no. Well, guys, if you liked what you saw today, thank you so much for sticking around and watching. Um, hopefully, this uh, took your mind off what's going on in the world right now. Mm. We're all stuck in our homes for a pretty darn good reason, um, and. Um, yeah. yeah, so uh, if you like what you saw, feel free, go ahead, give us a thumbs up. We will be doing more of these videos later on down the track, well I hope we are. And, uh -huh. uh, <laughs> and uh, we'll talk more shit about makeup in the future. If you're new to my channel and you want to see more of this content, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. But like I said to everybody who joins my channel, don't forget to push the, the bell notification so you can be notified of all my future videos. So, um, yeah. There we go. Thank you very much guys. Cheers. Catch you later.